Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. And this video is going to be another in my series of R8 CSA practice sessions. And we're going to be looking at the objective locate and interpret system log files and journals from operating running systems within the R8 CSA objective list. I want to remind you that this isn't necessarily intended to be authoritative information, though I do try to make it accurate and it's more an opportunity for me to talk about the um, the topic to see if I myself feel feel confident about it and see whether or not I need to do some additional study for my my exam prep so before I dive in I want to remind you if you do enjoy the content of the video make sure you click like also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new uh, content comes available so locate and interpret system log files and journals this is going to be working with the um, RSS Log D and um, Journal D service. And from what I gather, neither of them are mutually exclusive. Like the coming of Journal D does not mean RSS Log D goes away. Um, rather, it's it's simply another tool to be able to to view said files. And looking at that, let's go into Etsy. Actually, let me go ahead and sudo into root here. If I don't fat finger my password, there we go. Let's go to Etsy. And there should be, yep, rsyslog.conf. So let's go into, we'll use Vim for that. So for rsyslog, this is, this is the service that, that does most of the, of the logging. And it has a variety of rules that basically tell you um, where particular logs are going to be stored, such as if you take a look at where it has log cron stuff, any logs that would be from um, cron that would be of any particular type. And by type, I mean emergency or alert or critical or um, info, debug, on and on and on. They are going to go to um to var log cron for log messages that are type emergency which i think is like priority zero if i remember off the top of my head those are are going to um are going to go like to the terminal and 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 we'll we'll be able to to see it now where these logs are stored as can see in most of this they're going to var lock so let's take a look at that and there we have a variety of logs I'm not going to go into detail with each with um, each of these uh, some of these I'm not 100% sure of, of what detail is going to be in but there are a couple that I want to mention one is secure and this is going to be for authentication and such. So let's do tail secure. You can see the last few messages here. Now, one nifty thing about the, the tail utility, if you're wanting to watch logs, if you want to watch them live, you can use the tail dash f, uh, f parameter. And what that's going to do is as something is written to this log, tail will, will display it. So just to give you a little proof of concept here. Let's, I don't want to maximize that. Let's make this a bit smaller here. All right, so I'm going to try to SSH into this VM from this VM. So we'll do any at localhost. And I'm going to feed it bogus password. And there we see in the secure log there is my authentication failure for SSH then if I end the connection shows that the the connection is closed so if there's something you're trying to troubleshoot in real time tell F can be beneficial to you another log I want to talk about is within the audit folder so if I were to go into audit There's an audit.log and let's tail audit.log. You're going to see a ton of stuff here. 
a lot, or not, I'm not sure if it's a lot or 100% of the time, I think it's 100% of the time, um, your SE, SE Linux messages are going to be going to, to this particular log. So when I eventually get to the, the topic of, of SE Linux, we'll be utilizing this audit log to um, troubleshoot SE Linux issues. I just wanted to, to, to bring that up to you. So now we get to the idea of journal D. And if I were to do system CTL status, this is actually the name of the official name of the service is system D journal D. You can see that that's running. Actually, what you see there, you see three messages from journal D. Journal D is a service that is gathering all of the logs that are uh, being being written on the system, and it stores this in a way that makes it easy to um, to parse if you're trying to find some specific information. For example, if I were to do journal CTL, see any times I can misspell journal here, CTL, and I'm going to, I want to do since, see it's 940 on my system's clock here, let's do since 0930. And that is going to show us all of the um, the logs from 9:30 up until now. And if I were to parse through, we'll probably see let's go through this here. Yep. So we see the SSH log where I uh, had the, the the failed login attempt. Another nice thing you can do with journal D is look at logs for a particular uh, particular system D unit or, or service and one way we can do that if we were to do journal CTL unit I think dash U will also work and I, let's do sshd.service there's our current sshd logs and it has my authentication uh, failure that, that that we did before there's another syntax i think it's um, underscore systemd dash unit equals whatever the the unit name is i tend to do um, dash dash unit just because for the exam as i'm preparing i'm trying to um, i'm not ignoring alternate ways of doing syntax for commands but i'm trying to, to stay somewhat uniform in, in what i do so that way when the, the pressure's on i'm trying to remember what's going on i i have kind of a pattern to to follow one other thing you can do with journal ctl is look at particular log priorities I think dash p will work i think dash dash priority is yeah you can do dash dash priority or just dash p let's look for um, for critical oh that's not a log level so just crit yeah just crit all right and so currently um, within our journal D logs we have two um, two crit messages you can also do this by number I want to think crit crits one or two let's see must be two then yeah now there are a variety of different ways that that you can go through your your data with journal CTL and those are, 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 are just uh, a couple of examples and the objective itself is locate interpret and interpret system log files and journals while we located them in bar log and then interpreting it this would be a just you know read the message and and act on what it says one thing I do want to to bring to your attention though so if I were to just do journal CTL nothing so the first log this has is from 92357 so I'm gonna reboot my system real quick and the thing about journal D is that it is not persistent it, it does not survive through or rather the uh, the data that's there does not survive through reboots and I'm gonna do a separate video about um, making journal D uh, survive through reboots but I just wanted to demonstrate for you what occurs with um, journal D if you restart your system 
This will come back up in just a moment. Sorry for the pause there. I figured it'd be a little quicker. And if I were to again do journal CTL, we see that the first log is at 9.43. And that's just a um, few seconds or so before the, 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 the current time. So unless you have set up persistence, your uh, journal D is just going to be for whatever the beginning of the, the last reboot is. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please click like on the video. Also, feel free to leave comments, ask questions. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Or if I got something wrong, by all means, mention that in the comments so that way I and everyone else can, can learn from it. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.